How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Searville, Tennessee. I think it's pronounced that way. We're near Gatlinburg, up in the Tennessee mountains, the Old Smoky Mountains. Uh, and we're staying at a Verbo dome tent while we're out here shooting a wedding. Uh, we figured we'd get a little R&R &R while we're out here, actually, because we don't get a whole lot of time off. We're usually busy doing weddings and stuff, but I'm gonna have Tiff show you around this Verbo because it's pretty awesome. Oh, hi. Hi. Would you like to see around our glamping tent? Hey, why not? Can you show me around? Real door. Love that. All right, so we got some windows around here. We'll let some light over here too. Um, it's all weather, like all seasons. So you're at heat, heat. Both air conditions are running right now. If you want to turn around and pan towards those. Supplies, fresh fluffy towels, a robe, two robes. So we're, we got we got to dress in the rooms at least once. Um, this is all our crap, but what a beautiful and comfortable bed. They even have heating blanket included in all this here. Um, little touch lamps. They thought of everything. They truly did. But let me show you the view. Okay, you see seen up, right? Did we look up at like the cute little lights and the skylights that we woke up to this morning? A great little, little chair to sit. Might read later. Alright, now I'll show you the back. Might have to like back up over there. one half and then it also opens on this side as well. What a view, right? We're gonna leave it shut for the day so it doesn't get super hot in here. But uh I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Smoky Mountain Lamp. I will probably be back. <laughs> All right, guys, so the last thing I wanted to do was show you guys this huge bay window we have in here. You see tips in there on the swing reading read anything good so right down there that's the outdoor shower which I have full intentions of using because why not it doesn't seem like there's a lot of mosquitoes so I'll try it out <laughs> the common area there's one sink I was reading a little bit last night about the place here's where we do breakfast and I think we're gonna go get some meat there's little grills at our there's a little grill at our tent, so I think we'll grab some, some meat for lunch. We'll put it up in that freezer there. And then back here, there's a bathroom, a shower, a shower. Bathroom. And yeah, this is where we're starting, and I love it. All right. Heading out on our breakfast run. Where are we going for breakfast? Uh, coffee. <laughs> We're going to a cafe 17 minutes away called Wonderfully Made. And I'm hoping for some wonderful breakfast. 
getting a little bit of a late start. Mark's had me vlog. Mom vlog. Where are we, Mark? Somewhere. Over the rainbow. No, just kidding. We are in Smoky Mountain State National Park. It's our first, first national park we've ever been to together. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's just another overlook, yeah? Yeah. Just another. Just another. Alright. Where are we going? Oh, dude, that's probably the better spot. Yeah, it is. Oh, we messed up. Oh, good. We'll go take their picture. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Look, here's the corkscrew of the Yeah. Fork screwing. Fork screwing. Off a mountain. Alright. Wow. That's incredible. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Tight turn here. We must be at like close to the top. <laughs> this is tight. This is. There's like a centrifugal force, almost like the Gravitron pushing you to the right side of the car. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna feel very interesting going down. Oh, yeah. We're there. Okay, here you go. Take a quick little peek. You need to take your camera. Yeah, are you coming out? Yeah, I just want to get a little cameo of the cameraman.
I want to take a walk right here. Give me a sec. Walk over the wall with me. You gonna do it? Out as well as I thought it would pan out. This is like a, an upright kind of. on a mountain, right? Technically? Oh, for sure. But it feels so flat. I just feel like I should feel like, I mean, obviously the terrain is not like that. I like it. I like being in the water. Oh, yeah, it's like so cold. Ow! <laughs> it is rock. And this is a bucket list item for me. Um, let's go back and get in the car, like get our ducks in a row. We'll come back, not tomorrow, but the day after and do like a real. Plus then you'll be feeling better, right? You in? Okay. This is so cool. I'm, I'm gonna Yogi Bear's coming to get us. 
Yeah. <laughs> Sneaky Sasquatch reference. Alright, Mr. Tisdale, where are we going now? Uh, back to Gatlinburg. And we are driving down the mountain in neutral because we are having some like oil residue issues on the front of the turbo. So right now what I'm trying to do is trying to keep everything nice and cool for the car. I can replace brakes. Yeah. The turbo is something we want to make sure that we're, you know, taking care of a little bit here. So we also just did an oil change before the trip because it's just a good idea and we were yeah. close to time. So he may have drip dripped a little. So very what we're smell smelling could very well be burn off and not so catastrophic. Correct. But oh. better to be safe than sorry. Correct. So actually later on I'm hoping to um, like spray it down, wipe it down, make it nice and dry and clean. And um, if there is any like burn off that's related to just a leak, I'll be able to find the leak and not necessarily think it's a drip or whatever. Only if you find a leak. So will you feel better if you find a leak? Or no, I'll feel so. better if I wipe it up and it doesn't come back. That's true. This thing, so. truthfully, it's kind of been smile smelling, smiling, smelling like this for like a little while now. But so she's all right. She seems to be, be an oil thing, but it's okay. We'll we'll figure out the issue and we'll just go ahead and make our repairs. The thing is, she made it here nine hours. She did a great job. She just stinks. That's all. I really want to look at the 25 Forester, to be honest. I really want a wilderness outback. Be spicy. Yeah, I know. We're in a tunnel, and our ears are pumping. Where are we going? One. Yep. Mama needs one. Mommy needs wine and dinner. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. I won't wait. Go find some. Did I just have this land on? Um. I'm full. Oh, I'm like ready to sleep. You know what I mean? I'm like fully yeah. satiated. I've had the drinks. I've exactly. had the foods. I need the beds. Yeah. And we're back. We're here to brush our teeth, ending our day. Back in the dome after a nice long day. Nice long day. We're back. Back in the dome. We're back. Yes, we went a little bit of hiking. We got to see the Smoky Mountain National Park. Which the, is awesome. Very awesome. Um, some great views. Um, we got to see. Touristy area in Gatlinburg had some great wine, great steak. Overall, really good day. Got to see some friends, the people we're going to shoot for tomorrow. And yeah, that's what the day is going to consist of. That is what the day is going to consist of tomorrow. Um, shooting a wedding here in the great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Alright, so with that being said, probably not going to do much filming tomorrow because it's going to be a busy photo day, so unfortunately. This is where that's going to end, or at least probably until Thursday. We'll, we'll get you up. some of us like heading too, but apparently some crazy roads and crazy drives getting there. Yeah, so we'll have some fun. We'll keep everybody updated. Yep. So.
blow up. So I'm done. We'll see you later. Okay. Our morning has been great. Our morning has been great. Um, I woke up sometime around like four or five o'clock with the beetle on my arm. But then that beetle ended up under Mark's pillow being kept in the morning. But he was a friend. He was not a foe. He didn't bite anybody. He yes. just wanted to cuddle. Yes, he's, he went outside. He just wanted to cuddle. Usually we don't let third peoples in our beds, but like beetles is an exception, I suppose. We didn't really have a choice in the matter. Um, we had a fabulous outdoor shower. Mark, do you want to give us your review of our outdoor shower? It's weird. <laughs> I mean, at first, but it was very warm, so it was kind of hard to. Yeah. He was resistant at first. I was all for it. Here, you that back. I was all for it. My this we discussed thrills and how I am not a fan of getting on the string chair. What's that called? A ski lift. <laughs> string chair. This is a string chair. Um, I don't find thrill in sitting on a chair held by a thread, but I do find thrill in being in an outdoor shower. And he was like, and then I convinced him we had an outdoor shower. All that to say, 10 out of 10, would recommend, would do again. Great, great experience. Now we met some of our Roommates? How would you call this? Airbnb mates that are staying in some of the other um, rooms, stays. Um, here there's like a cabin and a loft and they're staying there. And there's like a community cat that's an absolute gem. And we got to talk to them for a little bit and they started telling us about there's a lot of like Appalachian lore. Um, and I love that kind of stuff. So I think the whole way to breakfast. I'm gonna be looking up like Appalachian lore. One of the big ones was like, don't stare into the woods for too long. Right behind us, we're like the closest cabin to the woods. And that's like our view is creepy woods. So that's cute. Um, I'm gonna go creep myself out by watching, listening to all that. And who knows, maybe not today because wedding today. Um, tomorrow we might go check out a Hatfields and McCoy restaurant and do like a light show paranormal paranormal tour something to that get into the history of tennessee because that's our photographers and history we're capturing history every day when we do our job that's why we do it all right join us on our adventures mountain venue today in the Great Smokies and Mark is smitten with the mountains behind us. We are literally on the edge of the mountain and trying to keep a lookout for bears because there are bears at this venue but we're trying to scope out some good spots. Am I right Mark? We're at our venue. I'm sure you took a little bit of a. There are bears. There's already been bears here this morning. Um, so I got information from a local. I did some research before we showed up, but I wanted some like first-hand suggestions from a local about what to do if we see bears. Because just before we arrived, a bear did show up at the bar area. So we're walking behind the bar area now to scope up our photo location for the couple afterwards. So let's hope we don't see a bear because I am not wearing the shoes to encounter a bear. <laughs> They're also like obviously much better climbers than we are. You know they look rather looking. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Like I wanted to see a bear in Tennessee. 
kind of see, but like from like a car window, not not in person. I don't want to shake hands with one. I don't want to be that friendly with Cooper. Go. I'm scared. Okay, look. I'm gonna hike up my skirt for a minute because I have pockets and a skirt and this. And I just want my hands kind of free. Not that I'm gonna like karate chop a bear. I just don't want a bunch of shit in my hands. I already got a camera. Maybe. I'll probably take them up here because now I know and feel like this is a safe location. Mom Cam, where are we, Mark? We are in the mountains. We've done been in the mountains. We're working a wedding. We're still in the mountains. We're actually done working a wedding. I'm just trying to find my water. And it's over by our backpacks. No, it's not. I moved it to the dance floor so I can coax you to dance. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> All right, so last night we shot a wedding, which is the whole reason that we're here. So we shot the beautiful mountainside wedding for Jamie and Jason Dawson. It was absolutely breathtaking up there. Beautiful wedding. Um, the coordinators were awesome. All the vendors were really easy to work with. Um, there was a bear sighting or a couple bears sighting just before I arrived in the morning. Of course, Mark comes a little bit later. He was with the guys. But when we showed up, when I showed up around, was it one o'clock? Um, there was word that somebody opened one can of praline pecans out at the bar area. And within minutes, um, a, couple of a couple of bears ended up in the bar area. So it's very true what they say about Tennessee. Do not leave your food out. Don't get cocky for a second because they smell it and they arrive um, the rest of the night was you know where we had to go for their photos which we'll show you um, eventually they'll be up on the website and on instagram so make sure you're following at lime tree photo shameless plug um the area where their private photos were to take place which is absolutely gorgeous is kind of the loop that the bears would make and they're known to make a, a similar track so i was a little nervous going up there a couple of guests went up there claimed they could hear bears but we're pretty sure it was a neighbor playing bear noises on a speaker. We don't know if that was for funsies or if that like keeps bears away. I'm not gonna pretend I know bear science, not from Tennessee. Um, just relaying what happened for the day. But all in all, really nice day. It was super hot, but you know, the way that everything's set up there at the Magnolia is absolutely beautiful. And if you're looking for a great wedding venue, it's not too bad, I will say. The drive's a little sketch, but our Forester handled it fine. My Forester driver handled it fine, put that thing in X mode and it was great. So that's essentially what our day consists of. Today we're full tourist mode. I think on the docket we have, uh, so we love history, which we've discussed before, it's why we're photographers. So we'll be going to the Hatfields and McCoys restaurant. We might be doing a historic or a paranormal tour later. And then we're gonna round out the evening or the night with um, the light up walk at Anakista. So stay tuned, we'll try to capture as much of it as we can. I'm sure the people of this fine establishment do not wanna see this grown ass child swing in the swing like that. But it is metal, so I'm confident in this swing's abilities to keep me safe. It's not suffering, right? You said that's a car change, right? I'm enjoying myself. I'm like a kid. I get a little bit of AC on my way by. I'm living it up. 
stuff today. We can eat at the breakfast camp if you want, or we can just like stop at the first cool place that we see. Um, yeah, not like yesterday when we stopped at that bear place and there really wasn't a lot Painted of food. bear. I don't want to call them out, but it was more a coffee shop. We needed substantial food because we were going to be working the wedding. Um, yeah. Where we were there nine to ten hours, so there's not really a good lunch. So we try to really overeat breakfast when yeah. we're shooting the wedding, and we wanted meat and eggs. So we did. We did mix the painted bear, although the coffee looked slamming, and went to the timber log cabin. Was that what it was called? Timber log cabin was wonderful. Dang. With Which chef, it's literally like you're in somebody's kitchen. Like if you can, while you're ordering, you can kind of peek back, and it's like a residential stove. And the two, the sous chef and the chef are like duetting country music the entire time. And it's absolutely wonderful. It's like you're invited over to grandma's house for breakfast. Like that's literally what it felt like. What it tastes like. It, the, the personality, like everything. Amazing. Love Tennessee. So today we're going to go less on the local end, more on the touristy end. Because we have to go. Unless we see something on the way. If we see something and we're just like, stop there, then we'll do that. I'm hoping a little bit of income comes in today from the business. There's a couple invoices kind of in past due, and I've, I've done a little post this morning to try to get some cash flow going. If we can get another payment in, we can go to the Hatfields and McCoys dinner show. We'll probably do that a little early because later we're doing a ghost tour and we bought tickets to Anakista, and I cannot wait for the content that Mark is going to film for that. Um, definitely keep on this channel if you want to see that. If you like lights, I'll just give you that. If you like lights, or you can Google Anna Keaston and figure it out for yourself. Good luck spelling it. Um, <laughs> let's, let's go! Well, our first stop for this morning was a bust. Uh, went to the Morning Mist Cafe, but they're on vacation and out of town, which good for them. This is your sign to take a vacation, right? Sure. You should do it. Okay, so we're back in the car. Where next are we gonna try? I don't know. So the the game plan is to just drive towards the tourist area because we wanna do like the history stuff and all that jazz. So just the next spot that we find along the way. Pretty much. Now, right across the street is the Timber Something. Timber Log Cabin, which was great. So, like, all else fails, that's always an option. Uh, but we love variety, and there's a lot of amazing places to try. So, we're going to see what we're... Okay, we're going to see what uh, we can find next. All right, we're at Little House of Pancakes. We're going to give this one a try today. What place does it make? Number nine. Number nine, best breakfast place. So now that it's lunch, <laughs> let's give it a try. Like a I think they probably still sell breakfast. Like I would assume. Pancakes. It's the little house of pancakes. Initial thoughts of the pancake place. I mean, we don't have our pancakes yet, but we just got here, so. Yeah, but look at the massive, <laughs> the massive coffee that you got there. I mean, like, pan for reference. That's a big coffee. I mean, look at your spoon for reference. No, it's sunk. It's like, sunk. Like the Titanic. The Titanic. That's messed up. It's terrible. No, it's fantastic, actually. Your reference was terrible. My reference was terrible. Coffee cups are fabulous. Very excited for what's to come. Woo. That was awesome. We're all done filling our tummies to max capacity with a bunch of carbs. So now we have to walk it off. Yeah. Where's she next? Oh. First off, 10 out of 10 would recommend the Pancake House. I've never seen anybody more on it with the coffee. I never had any less than one sip out of my cup. <laughs> so they were fabulous. Um, would recommend. I guess we're going to head in that direction. We already have tickets tonight for two things. So we spent a bit already kind of planning our day. So I'm hoping the next things that we find are on the freer side. Or inexpensive. And involve much walking. Yes. <laughs> because I'm gonna need to walk off 
my strawberry pancakes. I have indulged in you and more sugar than me though. The French toast was like the best I've ever had. They have special. Had to get the special and the special is special like. It was special. It was really special. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we're at. Um On to the next thing. everything you could want. Wine tasting and a live bootleg. Live. Wine tasting and a live bluegrass band. This place is pretty. I want my whole house to look like the interior decorating of the Tennessee Stud Cider Shop here. Welcome to Gatlingburg. I haven't done like a full pan of what it's like, but it's just a super touristy area. Lots of cute stuff, lots of fun stuff. I like it. You like it? I like it. Back on the zinc. Right, we're out of iPhone land. No real recordings now. And we're going to Anakista. Makeup check, do I look alright? You're good. Any books? Yeah. Any food in my teeth? Yeah. Okay, cool, let's go. I could like mad munch on something. Or we're getting ice cream. Yeah, it's ice cream on top. Why not? Then I shall save the rooms for the, for the calories. I got a ticket. So watch your back, babe. Is this dinner? Is this our dinner? Yeah. Then I say brownie Sunday. That way you get a little little substance. Um, although a one scoop or a two scoop for eight dollars, it's not as gouged as I thought it would be. To be honest with you. All right, we got off the death trap, AKA the chairlift. If you like that sort of thing, great. If not, no shame, neither did we. Um, we'll be taking the shuttle back. However, um, we're here, we got our ice cream to calm our nerves, and now we're gonna go find this illuminated garden called, Mark, help me back there, Astralumina. Astralumina. We're gonna go see Astralumina and hope to get lots of cool photos. Come on. And video, lots of cool video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really cold. I want to sit on the bear's lap, but I think it's frowned upon. It's like a red rope. Okay. 
a bear ham Lincoln Memorial. A bear ham. I love a good pie. For the house. Because I want to feel like I'm on vacation every day. I hope you all can enjoy it. Um, yeah, I hope you can all enjoy the remainder of this video while I'm munching out on some cookie dough ice cream. Well deserved. Something about the chair look really shook me. Um, this is just an honest review for you people like me. Um, it's okay to be nervous. I don't know if I can do this. This is kind of cool. How about you, Tizzo? So I do want to give an honest review because we watched a little bit about this and if you, I want to give you the opportunity to make a choice that is good for yourself and for your dignity. Um, if you are nervous about heights, while it is a very smooth and calm ride up the mountain on the chairlift, there's chairs, there's cabins. I, that was all I seen, cabins are enclosed. Um, but it, if you're not comfortable with that sort of thing, if it heights, even at slow moving pace, you're not gonna like it, so just take the shuttle and everything great but I did hear it's better on the way down I'm not gonna know because I'm gonna take the bus <laughs> you can take the bus with me so I can figure out how to get the shuttle at 11. Because again, now that this is going all over YouTube, I don't like the chairlift. So we're currently, um, we don't go on until 10.15, so we're not allowed off the papers. So we're just waiting here until it's our time to go into Astra Lumina.
Better. I'm not too proud of it. it. I don't like heights. Yeah. It's not my thing. Spent many years a little like maybe feeling bad or embarrassed about it, but it's not my thing. And I feel just fine keeping my feet on the ground. Said God didn't make me a bird, he made me a land animal, so I'm good. Yes. Ditto. I'm not, I'm not that guy. Don't put me up there in the heights. That's a, that's a no-go. Oh, but everything else is really cool. Like some of it's still out here too. Some of the light shows still going on. Obviously not as like grandeur as some of the lights up there, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking they were gonna have lights on the chairs, which was probably part of the lure of taking the chairs, but. There's no lure in taking the chairs because you're scared to death the entire time and they didn't put the lights on, so don't do the chairs. The chairs, they can go away. That's fine. I think some people love the chairs. Like there's kids no. on there that are making us look like wimps. No. no. But listen, Mark and I are not people that enjoy heights. No. You can do roller coasters. I can't even. I like roller coasters. Roller coasters are moving. That is not really moving. No, it's moving really no. slow. And it, it stops. stops. And then you swing. And they're like, no. Okay, but let's talk about the good stuff. How amazing was Astralumina? That was awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to post that in the video. So everybody will see that in the video, probably before they see this review of it, but it's awesome. So we're gonna have to trim a little bit of our discontent. Maybe. Yeah. No, they, all of the discontent will be posted. 100% chance that doesn't get edited out. Let me tell you, we, we discussed while we were in there that the park was totally worth it, but still not worth the chairs. <laughs> yes, actually, that was part that of the was conversation. Said. I was like, this was great. Worth the chairs? No. Worth the money? Yeah, I, I would say worth the money. Worth every penny. That was incredible. That was awesome. But worth the chairs? No. No. Zero out of zero out of 100. Zero out of anything. Come, come, come down here where the chairs are. There's a trolley. Take the trolley. Do that. I promise you, it's way worth it. Oh, and it takes like... 15 minutes. Yeah. It was actually a nice drive. It was a nice drive. Nice and cool. Now that it's nighttime. Yeah. This is called Boca for all those. I did a little bit of a like talk about Boca on my Snapchat and on my Lime Tree Instagram. But this is Boca. So the Astral Luna. Absolutely amazing. I really hope our video, I don't think any amount of video could really do it justice. You have to go take the trolley or take the, the bus, but absolutely spend the money, spend the extra money paying what you have to buy getting into Anakisa. You have to spend an additional, I want to say $15 per ticket or per head to get into Astra Lumina. 100% worth the money. We actually didn't really have time to do anything else in Anakisa, so I can't speak to a whole lot about it. Um, the only thing we truly had time for was the Treehouse Village and um, Astro Lumina, and Astro Lumina was worth every penny. Like, I would pay the entire price that I paid just to get into Anakisa for Astro Lumina again. So, that's my review of that. It is like nothing I've ever seen before. And that's what I got. So now, we're gonna go find the car. We're gonna shower up because we're gross. A lot of Tennessee heat today. And we're gonna go to bed. Maybe we'll play one more game of cards, Mark? Yeah, we'll see. See what time looks we'll like, see, see how still, tired. Still on the losing end. I won one. Yeah, no, I won two. He got so. me on two, so we gotta. I gotta try to get him again. But yeah, let's uh, end the night and 
tomorrow we go home. But we'll bring our kids back here sometime and maybe do a little more videoing. Bye. There's some live music going on around here. Listen, it's not quite Las Vegas, but I do like the night lights. Very cool. Ben and Jerry's is still open. I already got my ice cream, so I'll chill. But next time, we'll have to come back again. Right, Mark? Smoky Mountains. It's late. Oh, and yeah. Last night in the dome. Last night in the dome. It was a good week. Marcy, I hate me for saying this, but I'm cold. That's because it's got all the fans of blazing in here. So I'm going to go brush my teeth. And we're back. Call it a night. Call it a night. Maybe I'll beat him at uh, another game of cards tomorrow. We'll You'll see have about to that. join us for that. We'll see. <laughs> right, good night, everybody. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Last morning here. We're going to go get some showers. And a long trip home. I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Catch up with everybody shortly. Did I mention our common area? It's so cute. I wanted to vlog this common area the whole time, but it's missing two crucial pieces. Cat. It is the cats. Wow. There is two kitties that live around here that are extremely friendly and cuddly, and I kept calling them the welcome. I kept calling them the welcome committee. But let me show you around. This is obviously just like a barn. They are friendly. They're and I'm not a cat person. You were petting that cat. You had that cat on your lap, Mr. I'm not a cat person. Cats right here. Where? What of them are here? Which one? Where? Oh, good morning. Where's your sister or brother or whatever? Where's your other one? Oh, good morning, friend. Hello. This is probably one of the best parts of this stay, is having these, these cats around. So to tell you a little bit more about um, Smoky Mountains glamping, don't make the mistake I made. It's not an E in Smoky, and it's S after mountains. Smoky Mountains glamping on Instagram. But I'm pretty sure there's several Airbnbs going on. I think that might be one, or that might be where the owners live. There's five of these tents that we are staying in. One is um, much bigger. And then there's this cabin. I'm gonna show you that, but uh, quickly, I'm gonna make Mark's life really difficult because he's gonna have to splice this. I want to show you all of the common area and then we'll talk about the cabin. So here's this common area. They have everything they you possibly could need. They provide wood and camping supplies and charcoal for the charcoal grill, some fun stuff. Um, we got to do a little bit of research about where we would go for the day and the essentials. <laughs> a Keurig. A Keurig stocked with all the coffees. Every morning I have had no problem getting in here and getting coffee. Mark's kind of um, a slow starting kind of guy and I need coffee immediately or something in my tummy immediately or I'll get a tummy ache. They have full functional bathrooms. These are the indoor showers. We did the outdoor shower and then one more bathroom with a full length mirror. Also has all the things you need. First aid kits, I used their hair dryer yesterday because we were doing a wedding. Um, not yesterday, the day before that. Towels. <gasps> Hello, friend. Hi. I was, I'm so excited to see you. I truly am. Hi, baby. Good morning. How are you, babes? 
Oh, so sweet. Where's your friend at, huh? So this one I just met yesterday. There's been a brown, a very beautiful brown and um, different shades of brown colored cat that is much smaller than this one and just as friendly. I'm hoping we see her before we leave. Hi. Oh my goodness, hi. Do you want some water this morning? I'm sure somebody takes care of them, but I had, I just couldn't not give them water. Come here. I just feel like morally obligated here to take care of things. Here, baby. You want some water? Here you go. It's hot out here in Tennessee. It's just a nice thing to do. All right, let me clip this so Mark doesn't have too much hard work to do. Bye, honey. It's been so nice staying with you. Been so nice staying with you. Hmm. Okay, back to the common area. Or not the common area. The Back to the campground, essentially. So there's the outdoor shower. Mark and I enjoyed that uh, two days ago. It's actually quite roomy. <laughs> so... We were both in there. Um, water is be beautifully hot. It's really great, actually. Um, not buggy or anything. So here's the tiny cabin. I did peek in there once our friends, we had some friends, um, like we just met them here, but we made acquaintance with them. Um, they were here about the first through the third day we were here. And um, they were telling us about how cute the loft is. So right after they left, the curtains were still open. So we peeked in there. It's got a cute little modern yellow couch. Um, little sitting area. Look, there's Mark getting in our, our tent. <laughs> um, <clears throat> cute little model, modern sitting area and a loft with a bed in it. Um, they said the one cat was spending the night with them most nights. I thought that was adorable. I hope to see her before we leave. And this one is the biggest dome tent. We're obviously not staying in that one, but my goodness, the view. My goodness, to wake up with the mountains behind you like that, because there is a big window on the other side. That's gonna be one incredible view. Now we have the woods behind us, but that's okay. It's still cool. It's still awesome. They're still incredibly comfortable and climate controlled and cozy. It's glamping. I never thought in a tent I could say glamping, but this tent is the epitome of glamping. Ready to go? Yes. No, but yes. Um, definitely want to come back. I definitely want to bring the family and we'll do the family friendly version of all of this. Not that it wasn't friendly family friendly, but more, you know, kid oriented. I'd love to come back. I'd love to come back specifically here. Uh, I'm keeping this on the list. I'm going to save this on Verbo and on Airbnb. And I mean, there's lots of spaces to stay here. So I, this is, this is our vibe, right? Like it's, it's a tent, which I like. It's got air conditioning, which Mark likes. Um, and it's near all the touristy stuff. So like, Excuse me, I'm choking. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to leave these guys a raving review because this place is really one of the coolest BNBs I've ever stayed at. So, how'd you feel about it, Mark? It was good. It's a little bit more made up now because we are okay. leaving. <laughs> so we tried to clean up a little bit, but yeah, everything from the last video is pretty much the same, except we're uh, a little bit cleaner this time because we weren't in a hurry to get in and then get moving. I made anyway. a really weird noise. <laughs> Make nails on a chalkboard. And there we go, we're all packed up, ready to go. Yeah. Remind me I'm putting this um, side note that's unnecessary. Mark, you probably could if you wanted to. Um, I found on Amazon that you can get battery operated diffusers and something that we did because we do tent camp and we don't like bugs to be in the tent and on us is I bought a battery operated diffuser and we've been putting peppermint and citronella and lavender in it the entire time. 
And I think I had one instance of sleeping where a bug was on my shoulder, and I don't even know if it was real or if I dreamt it. So get you one of these off Amazon because I'm pretty sure it's a game changer. Because this is not, I don't want to say it's not sealed. If you, you know, in all honesty, we did get a skink in here. If you don't know what that is, they're little lizards. One day it came underneath. There's a slight, there must be a slight opening under the bed. Um, but it was easy to shoo him out. And other than that, nothing has really tried to come in the tent or try to like land on us because we would put this on and it would spray kind of over us. We'd use the fan to kind of direct it. So um, camping pro tip from the Tisdells is get you a battery powered diffuser. I quit, I've been arguing with it for too long, but get you one of these. And it's like a little lantern too. We should put links, okay. Um, for everything that you've seen in this video, we are gonna include links in the description for the Amazon bug lantern for this Verbo specifically and for the attractions you've seen in the videos. That way you can come here, already have a plan and know what works and make it a little easier for you. Oh god, you're gonna put all that in the video. Yeah. And here we go. We're getting ready to make our nine hour trek, which will probably be longer because food. And pee. And food. Food for Tiff, pee for Mark. All of it. And we have Gatlinburg wine that we're gonna drink when we get home. Shout out bootleggers. Yeah. Excellent. And we never saw a bear. Never saw a bear. I hope we see one on the way home. Yes. In a safe situation. In a very safe situation. All right, let's get out of here, Mr. Tisdell. Hi, Eddie. I have to give her a little more before we leave. Because it is, it is hot, Tennessee. Big June. Man, you must have been thirsty. sometime. I'll give you a little more water before we leave. Well this was our first stop and now we've returned. Why wouldn't we? It was absolutely wonderful. It was wonderful. And it's out of the touristy stops. Not out of the touristy location so make sure you make a stop at Wonderfully Made Coffee because it's that wonderful. Okay we got our first fill up of the day. It looks like we're gonna be home. And that's without any stops. But you know, we're gonna have to make some stops for food and obviously more gas. So nine hours and it starts now. This doesn't even do it justice to be honest. How do we get a house on the hill? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to live up there. How's our trip going? Uh, we have uh, eight hours and 48 minutes to go. You got a really late start. Yeah. You can't do anything quickly. No. It's our last day of vacation. You know, then we gotta go work tomorrow. We're milking it. Yeah. Oh, we're not working tomorrow. We're shooting tomorrow. That's work. I know. <laughs> yeah. But it's good work. Mm. <laughs> We're home. It's probably way too dark to even get much of a picture on there, but yeah. We're home. We're gonna go in here and our kids will be delivered to us shortly. 
We're going to pick up our lenses from our neighbor that just got shipped while we were gone and prepare ourselves for two weddings that we have tomorrow. The fun don't stop. And then after the two weddings tomorrow, I have three small sessions Sunday, and then I have another wedding Monday when Mark goes back to work. So, vacation's over, let's get to work.